Good morning. As the director of the National Shrine of St. Rita of Cascia, and on behalf of the lay staff, Augustinian friars, and patrons of the shrine, it is my great privilege and honor to welcome you to this opening mass for the solemn novena honoring our beloved saint, Rita of Cascia. In particular, I welcome all of you who are joining us in our live broadcast this morning. Please plan to participate as much as you are able from wherever you might be joining us. Although our current circumstances keep us separated physically, I am grateful for your virtual presence with us as we continue to pray for all those who are suffering from and heroically responding to the coronavirus. I'm also grateful to Father Bob Gassetto, the prior of the local South Philadelphia community of Augustinian Friars and a member of our staff. He will be serving as the celebrant and homilist for our liturgy this morning. Each day of our novena, we will welcome a different Augustinian friar to serve as our celebrant and homilist. We hope you'll plan to join us each morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for this special time of prayer and sacrament. And at the conclusion of Mass each day, we invite you to join us as we pray the novena prayer to St. Rita of Cascia. Our Mass this morning is being offered for all the names enrolled in and entrusted to us for the Solemn Novena. Our friars will be remembering and honoring the intentions of our Mother's Day Novena and all of the other scheduled Masses in private. Finally, we're celebrating today's liturgy in the peaceful but stunning Lower Shrine Chapel, a space that provides a sanctuary to so many who are seeking St. Rita's intercession. Here, we celebrate the hope, perseverance, reconciliation, peace, and healing that characterized St. Rita's life, and we continue her solemn prayer, asking for God's abundant grace, mercy, and love in our own lives. Welcome. First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and the living shall be added unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. As and it shall be given unto you, seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Allelu, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. And with your spirit. Good morning. As we turn our hearts to God, we truly break through the limits of our isolation and our distress, and we praise our God as his family of faith. On this first day of our solemn novena, there's a blessed coincidence. We pray to St. Rita, and we also honor the Blessed Mother on this Augustinian memorial of Our Lady of Help. And so, my brothers and sisters, as we humbly seek the graces of these nine days of prayer, let us acknowledge our need of God's mercy and seek his healing grace. Lord, your saints show us the way to fullness of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you have come to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave us your Son's own mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, to be our mother, grant that through her help, we may be freed from all evils of mind and, and body and give joyful service to you and to our brothers and sisters through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise your servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord, our God, enthroned on high, looking down on heaven and earth? Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. He raises the needy from the dust, lifts the poor from the ash heap, seats them with princes, the princes of the people. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. When we begin our beloved novena on a weekday, as we do this year, two women of faith are brought together, enriching the quality of our prayer and enlightening our hearts. Today's Augustinian memorial of Our Lady of Help is a devotion that began in Palermo, Sicily in the 14th century, and it wonderfully reflects our confidence in Mary, chosen by God, and through whom the Savior, our Lord Jesus, our ultimate help, would come into the world. There's every reason, friends, to believe that St. Rita herself would have invoked our Blessed Mother's help just before her death, nine days before her death, under this title of Our Lady of Help. And this was a way for her to feel that she was more and more prepared to meet her encounter with the risen Lord. Have you noticed too in some of the paintings of our, our Saint Rita, how as she's kneeling in prayer to the crucified Lord, 
oftentimes depicted on a table beside her are her rosaries lying there. But even more inspirational uh, for our faith today is the way that St. Rita reflected in her virtues, in her faith, uh, the virtues and the faith of the Blessed Mother herself. And indeed, both of them share their role in our life today as intercessors before our loving God. When we turn to the Blessed Mother, the virtue that we find there, as we so often turn in times of distress or need, is that of a tender compassion. And that's how we have seen her in the life in Nazareth and on Calvary. When we turn to St. Rita, we see in her as well that same tender compassion. It was evident when, as a young person growing up and trying to live with the disappointment of not being entering into the convent when she could, she trusted in God's presence there. And then years later, in that transition of her life, after the death of her husband and the death of her children, the love that she had for them, she then poured out on the poor and needy, the sick, that she met in the hospices and homes of Roca Perena and of Kasha. Later, as an Augustinian nun, that same tender compassion was there when people would turn to her and seek her guidance, ask for her help, and ask for her prayers. They found comfort in an attentive heart, tender compassion. And St. Rita is here for us in the same way. In our prayer, we invoke her as model of Christian mother and a help of those in need. Also, our Blessed Mother, her faith reflected the belief that she belonged to God and her whole desire was to do God's will and to follow his word. Let it be done to me according to your will, she herself prayed. When St. Rita faced disappointment and adversity, faith led her instinctively to turn to God in the same way and know that she wouldn't be abandoned, but rather that through him, she would find a way to go forward in hope. Think of her as a young woman making peace with those disappointments in her life. And then the tragedies as she suffered the death of those she loved so dearly and also the way that she sought peace and reconciliation for families that were in conflict. She belonged to God and she relied on him always to show her the way and to give her hope. For all these reasons in our litany, we invoke her to help us that we might have those same virtues and that same faith in our life today. And how similar to the distress and suffering that she suffered in her day is that which we are suffering now in this pandemic and through the tragic of the disruptions in our lives. And so it is in the spirit of looking to that hope that she found that we turn to her, our advocate and protectress, heroic in sacrifice and patient in suffering. But above all, on this memorial of Our Lady of Hope, of help, these two women stand to us as a reminder of God's abiding presence and the power of their intercession. It reflects the universal confidence of the faithful in Mary, who is always there on behalf of those in need. Jesus himself told us how we should turn to her. Behold your mother, we heard in the gospel. And so many of you have testified to the way that you have found a sign of um, Mary's love in her role as intercessor and mother. And you've testified as well to how in the favors you've asked of St. Rita, you found that she reflected the same power of intercession as our Blessed Mother. She is indeed our advocate and helper. And like the Blessed Mother, she reminds us that as we turn to her, the help that we receive has its source in God's care for us 
because we also belong to him. We turn now together as a family of believers to that God of love and we place with confidence our petitions this day. May the prayers of Mary honored today as Our Lady of Help be joined to those of Pope Francis and Catholics around the world as we pray the rosary each day during this month for deliverance from COVID-19. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. May we trust the word of Jesus and know that every prayer we offer in faith will be granted according to the will of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those facing a difficult choice may with the help of St. Rita accept the loving guidance of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all devoted to the life and memory of St. Rita may manifest their love of God by acts of love to one another and the people of the wider community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the St. Rita Novena, which we especially remember today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for hearing our prayers. In imitation of our patroness, may we be open to your loving will for us and find the help we need to serve you and one another through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray now, my brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your name for the, the praise and glory, glory of his name for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, the gifts of your people and grant that we who venerate the Blessed Virgin as our Mother of Help may show ourselves merciful to our brethren and so find your mercy for ourselves, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this memorial of the Blessed Ever Virgin. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with the exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Hosanna in the highest. 
who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Nelson our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. United as we are, one in heart and mind, intent upon our God, we pray now as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. You have renewed us with food from heaven. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that what we praise, that we praise your mercy in company with the Blessed Virgin, our Mother, and experience her protection at all times, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Eucharist has ended. Let us go in peace to glorify the Lord by our lives. Thank Thanks be to God. God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and our hearts will be renewed and you will renew the face of the earth. 
O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit a love and desire for what is right and just, and the constant enjoyment of his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Immaculate Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of pure love, pray for us. Holy Mary, Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Holy Mary, Queen of all the saints, pray for us. Holy Mary, Model of Life for St. Rita, pray for us. St. Rita, our Advocate and Protectress, pray for us. St. Rita, Beloved by the Lord, pray for us. St. Rita, given special grace from heaven, pray for us. St. Rita, remarkable in childhood, pray for us. St. Rita, model of obedience to God's will, pray for us. St. Rita of untiring patience, pray for us. St. Rita, model of Christian mothers, pray for us. St. Rita, mirror for Christian spouses, pray for us. St. Rita, heroic in sacrifice, pray for us. St. Rita, generous and forgiving, pray for us. St. Rita, martyr in penitence, pray for us. St. Rita, embracing humility and poverty, pray for us. St. Rita, exemplary as a widow, pray for us. St. Rita, prompt to answer the divine call, pray for us. St. Rita, patient in suffering, pray for us. St. Rita, mirror of religious observance, pray for us. St. Rita, mystical rose of every virtue, pray for us. St. Rita, enamored of the passion of Christ, pray for us. St. Rita, pierced with a thorn, pray for us. St. Rita, in ecstasy before the blessed sacrament, pray for us. St. Rita, consumed with divine love, pray for us. St. Rita, received into heaven with joy, pray for us. St. Rita, incorrupt in your chaste body, pray for us. St. Rita, advocate of impossible cases, Pray for us. Saint Rita, persevering in prayer. Pray for us. Saint Rita, help of those in need. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord, you have signed your servant Rita with the marks of your love and passion. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Saint Rita such grace that she loved her enemies and bore in her heart and on her forehead the mark of your love and passion, grant us, we beseech you, through her merits and intercession, a love for our enemies. Through our contemplation of your sufferings and passion, May we merit the reward promised to the meek and the suffering. You live and reign forever. Amen. Glorious Amen. Saint Rita, patroness of those in need, your intercession with our Lord is most powerful. Through the favors obtained by your prayers, you have been called advocate of hopeless and even impossible cases. Saint Rita, humble and pure, patient and compassionate lover of Christ crucified, we have confidence that everyone who has recourse to you will find comfort and relief. Listen to our petitions and show your power with God in our behalf. Obtain our petitions for us, if they are for the greater honor of God and for our good. We promise if our petitions are granted to make known your favor and to glorify God for his gift. Relying on your power with the merciful Savior, we ask of you. By the singular merits of your childhood, obtain our request for us. 
by your perfect union with the divine will. Obtain our request for us. By your acceptance of troubles in your married life. Obtain our request for us. By the anguish felt at the murder of your husband. Obtain our request for us. By the surrender of your children rather than have them offend God. Obtain our request for us. By your miraculous entrance into the convent. Obtain our request for us. By your daily penance and fasting. Obtain our request for us. By your courage and joy in bearing the mark of the crucified Savior. Obtain our request for us. By the divine love which consumed your life. Obtain our request for us. By your devotion in receiving the blessed sacrament. Obtain our request for us. By the happiness you felt in leaving this life for union with Christ. Obtain our request for us. By the example you get, have given to people of every state of life. Obtain our request for us. Pray for us, Saint Rita. That we may be worthy of the promises of prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in your infinite love and mercy, you heed the prayer of your beloved servant, Rita. You graciously grant favors through her intercession, which are considered impossible to human skill and effort. Relying on her compassionate love, we ask you to assist us in our trials and difficulties. Let unbelievers know that you are the helper of the humble, the defender of the weak, and the strength of those who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.